for another installment of The Blu-ray Mission. We got another list of movies we plan to go out and get. There's also a couple movies that we're not going to get that come out today because they're on sale during Black Friday. Like, off the top of my head, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 comes out today. On Black Friday, it's 10 bucks. So there's no reason to get that today. But let's go ahead and see what we are going to get. First up, The Batman Complete TV show from the 60s comes out. This one I'm also going to wait until Black Friday. But anybody else that's looking for it, it comes out today. It's the Clone Wars, The Lost Missions comes out. I have every season so far. Season 5, I haven't quite watched yet, but the previews for it look awesome. So I can't wait to get to season 5. I think I'm on like season 3 now. And then work my way to The Lost Mission. Jersey Boys comes out. Uh, it's directed by Clint Eastwood. All the movies he directs have been pretty good. So, I got a lot of faith in this movie. Uh, it's about Frankie Valley. I like Frankie Valley. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Complete blind buy, like most of the movies that I pick up. Tammy looks, it looks promising. So, I might pick up Tammy, but then again, I might let this one wait out until Black Friday to see if it goes on sale somewhere. Let's Be Cops comes out. It looks stupid. Who the fuck would want to be a cop? If you guys don't know by now, I don't like police officers. You can tell by looking at my profile picture. I despise police officers. I've known maybe two honest cops my entire life. All the rest have been corrupt. Every single one. Except despise police, so I will not be getting this movie. Thundercats is a complete series. This is the new series. Um, huge fan of Thundercats, so we'll be picking this up to check it out. I remember seeing when it was a big event when it came out on Cartoon Network, but it only did one season, so maybe that's a sign that it wasn't that great, but depending on the price, I might pick it up. True Blood, the final season comes out, as well as the complete series. Um, the show kind of dwindled after about season three. It picked up, I think season four or season five. No, season five is when it picked up. That's really the only season I'm interested in after season two. And I have season one and season two, which are my two favorite seasons. So I'm probably going to pass on a complete series. Plus, their complete series box set is just boring. It's just like a big-ass, thick Blu-ray case slipped into a slip box. How boring is that? Speaking of TV box sets, The Sons of Anarchy, all the previous seasons just came out in this huge fucking box set. It's epic. However, I already own the seasons, so I'm not going to buy this. But I just thought you guys should see it. And I Am Ali comes out. I'm going to be on the lookout for this. I probably won't find this, so I'll probably have to order this online. Uh, it's a documentary. I'm a huge Muhammad Ali fan. Muhammad Ali... Mike Tyson, greatest fighters ever. This is Star Wars The Clone Wars, The Lost Missions, Jersey Boys, Thundercats, if I can find it, under $25, and Tammy. So the four titles we got working with. So let's head out and go get them. <laughs> Alright, sitting here at Best Buy, hoping to see what they got. Almost got into a car crash, because people don't know how to fucking drive. But let's head on into the store and see what they got. Alright, I'm leaving the beast. Uh, that's really the only stop we had to make, because I found just about everything there. So let's head on back to the house. Back, nice stack of stuff here. 
Let's just jump on in to what I got. Okay, so there was no Thundercats, and I searched my nearby areas, and there's no Thundercats anywhere. So, I'll have to buy that online. But I did find I Am Ollie. Very... Well, I'm very excited to have that title. Not so excited that I dropped it. And next up here, we got Star Wars The Clone Wars, The Lost Mission. Uh, it doesn't look as embossed as the past couple slipcovers, but it's pretty embossed. And it's not green, as the banner would lead you to believe. Jersey Boys. Tammy. I really hope this is good. I really do. A couple of cheap catalog titles. First of all, for $4.99, I picked up Darkness and Below. The Darkness has Anna Paquin in it from True Blood. She plays Sunny Stackhouse. Ooh. I've actually liked Anna Paquin since I first seen her in the movie It's the Rage. If you haven't seen that movie, it is a hilarious dark comedy. It's about gun control. I don't want to ruin the end for you, but the end is a huge payoff. It's kind of slow. It's an independent film, but the end... It pays off really good. And it was one of her first movies. Pompeii for eleven ninety nine. When it first came out, it was like twenty four fucking ninety nine. I was like, what the hell? I already know this movie's not gonna be that great. But I have been wanting to see it. You know, I have read all about Pompeii and it's got Jon Snow in it. You know? And in this movie, he might not know that the volcano's about to blow up, so he literally might know nothing. I got Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is the fifth, thirtieth year anniversary. Holy crap! It's old. Okay, so that's all I got for you this week on the Blu-ray mission. Be sure to look out for our video I got coming up soon. It's just a movie where I'm just lounging around lazily in my movie room, putting stuff away. You know, just on there talking shit. So be on the lookout for that. And until the next time I see you, stay true and stay I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight.